Now, this is a kind of question which is a very standard question for capillary rise. It has been always taught that let us suppose this is the water surface and the capillary is kept here. If the capillary, capillary rise goes beyond this height of the capillary, then you see at the top the picture will be something like this, water will be rising like this, at the top it will be reaching this way. But now you see the middle portion of the water will try to come out faster because that force is lesser there, the running is smooth and at the end you will find this radius of curvature is increasing, the water level will be remaining there itself but it will never be able to come out because once the surface becomes flat, once the meniscus becomes flat, then you see there will not be any upward component of force that will be pulling the liquid up. So, the water stays there only. For that thing, you will find that the third option is the most appropriate option which says that water rises up to the tip and stays there without overflowing. It will never overflow. Understand? You, it will rise up to that point. So, third option will be the correct option for this question. Switch over to next question that is 177. Now, in this uh, question 177 which is based on astronomical telescope and that to normal adjustment, they are saying that uh, on the objective lens you have drawn a line of length L. So, this is working as an object and its image is being formed by the eyepiece. You know that in normal adjustment this uh, distance between the two lenses is basically FO plus FE. So, here this length FO plus FE that will be working as U and its final image is formed somewhere. That final image has the length i, that is what they are saying. This is equal to v. Now, v by u will be magnification. You can use this formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f or you can say 1 by v plus simply 1 by fo plus fe is equal to 1 by fe. This is the formula. You know? this, is, this is the image that is getting formed by this eyepiece of this length L. So, from here you can calculate the value of V and once you calculate the value magnification as V by U, you will simply be getting the expression L by I for this particular exercise. The magnification of the telescope in this situation will be L by I. This is the answer to question 177. Switch over to next question 178. 